welcome to Death Race. I'm Reg. And I'm Michael. And we will be starting our tournaments. Uh, we have, what, turn three kill tournament we're doing. And we have 12 teams, right? Yep. 12 teams. We had four teams we thought were the better teams. We gave them first round buys. And this is our first round. And today, Mike, you are playing the... Uh, the Red Eyes uh, Black Dragon team. Um, I think it was ran by James from uh, James and Zach. That's right, in that, that uh, Global Escalation Tournament this year. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, there was a couple control pieces. And in our tournament, we have absolutely no control uh, for people who haven't seen the, the rules. Uh, basically, there's no defense allowed. You can't control the other team. You can't use the other team's globals for the first two games, we said. That's uh, right. If it goes to game three, both teams roll three dice to start. And it's uh, if both do lethal on turn three, it goes to whoever did the most damage. So... So yeah, you've got the. I guess it's get the two of them. I think you need the black, the red-eyed black dragons, right? I definitely need two. So the the rolls have to be like on point. Right, and, <laughs> and we've got. I think every team's got the the way to ramp is Morphine Jar, Professor X, and uh, Clayface. I think does a lot of the ramping. I think most of the teams have cool. that. Uh, what was yeah. it? We, six teams have Cosmic Cube, and six don't. So that's the interesting part. So on my <laughs> side, I'm running a Beholder team. This is the actually you have a beholder too. You have a four cost. I have mm -hmm. the seven cost beholder team uh, that was inspired also from the Global Escalation Tournament uh, by Laurier, and we've added some more ramp. But it's basically uh, Bifrost has to roll your field characters, and then you can get a beholder out that lets you use the two um, basic action dice, Imprisoned and Frontline. So on this team, if I use Imprisoned and capture your cards. Uh, you get to have your stuff back at the end of the turn if I don't do enough to kill. Because we're saying defense only lasts for the turn to try right. to do lethal. Uh, so do you want to roll off? Uh, we are rolling today a Punisher die. So whoever wins this roll off will get to go first in games one and three. So do you want Punisher or no Punisher? Uh, let's go no Punisher. So actually, oops, roll it off the table. It's no Punisher. So you win, so you get to go first. So All right. Let's start it up. So I'm going to start the timer. Uh, we said 25 minutes. That's right. So we'll start. And I think most games should finish within 25 minutes, but we'll see. One of turn good luck to you, good sir. Uh, good luck to you as well. All right. Good Our luck. nice mats we've got. So you are playing the red side, and I'm playing on the white side. All right, here I think we we'll go. Get you. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Ah, there we go. We'll start off with that. So... I'm going to need at least two mass to pull this off for my first turn. So I've got the Billy Club Global, so we're going to go ahead and flip this sidekick over to a mask. I'm going to use my shield here to pull a die out of my bag using the Kate Global. I'm going to put it right back in there. I'm going to buy a one-cost Morphing Jar. And from there, I'm going to use the Clayface Global to bring the Morphing Jar in on its double mask side. Uh, pass priority and in my turn. Okay, so I decided to flip your screen to put your KO section on the right side there. It was a flip for the camera angle. So oh. actually just, just adjust. We're still doing some final adjusting to this, so let me just uh, <laughs> move this back up so we can screen it. We'll be good to go in a sec. Sorry. There we go. I'll fix it on my turn. Uh, so I'm rolling four dice. You got what you needed with your morphine jars. Mm hmm. So far. So far. So I need two masks as well, so I only have one so far. The bolt's fine. I need a second. Can I get it? Uh, second mass I need. Come on. Second mask I get. Okay. So sidekick. Two of those. And these are fine. So I'm going to... How can I do this right? I can actually field the sidekick. I'm going to do. I'm going to pay one for a morphine jar. I'm going to clay face in said morphine jar. And then I'm going to actually... Can I attack? Yeah, I guess I could attack. Um, no buffs we have, so I can actually just attack with one, and then I'm going to use the frontline global. It does nothing. I think it says target. Oh, it's target opposing character. I can't do that. Hmm. Oh, actually, I can use the fist. I'm going to use a fist from Black Widow to force my own to attack. I hit you for one, and I end turn. Right. Just because I needed to get the four dice into my use pile. So I got you down to 19. And before your attack, I'm going to go ahead oh, and you're... move over using the PXG global. I'm going to use once and twice. That's correct. All right. 
I got four in my bag, four in my prep area, so I'm rolling all eight of my sidekicks. And yeah, that's one thing we know. We're gonna have to do so many PXG, and we have to pass priorities. <laughs> we know it's like, yeah, like I've got two masks. We know I'm gonna PXG them all over. <laughs> I'm going to keep these and re-roll these three. So we did a lot of practicing when we played these matches. And uh, it was quite weird how often we could actually do the turn three killing. Which was, uh, it was really neat to see. And this will probably be the game that we take ten turns to win. <laughs> well, you're turn rolling away. You've got everything you need. Every sort of time. But well, we both no. have our first turn went out pretty good. So. Alright, so with this, I'm going to use the sidekick and use the billy club, but we'll flip this over to a mask. You've got lots of masks. I'm going to use two fists for the Kree Captain Global to get two for three, and then a mask to buy my beholder. Correct. And then use these two to purchase the Ring of Winter. Exactly. I'm going to hold on to these three masks and uh, pass priority over to you. That morphine jar. Was that in your use pile? Cause, yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think it matters. You'll still be able to bring everything over, but don't sh you should uh, Professor X it now, I think. Like, bring it over with the clay face, so you'd have four masks, right? Actually, no. I'm, 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 I should be okay right here. Yeah, so, I mean, I think you can do it with the clay face next turn as well. So, mm -hmm. um, Okay, so on my turn, of course, I'm going to spend one mask to PXG once, second one to bring over all my dice, and you pass the turn. And yeah. everything goes to used. Yeah. So I have eight dice. I'm rolling. Let's see if I can get what I need to start my shenanigans. Um, so mine, I need to get a Bifrost, which will be that and that will be Bifrost. Those two. I need mass for PX Gene, which is there. And I also have to buy a Black Widow, I believe. So I'm going to reroll these. Hope they don't come back as sidekicks. And that's good. So there's my mask. I didn't get my Black Widow. But that's okay. I think I can still do all, all that I need. So I'm going to Clayface in my Morphine Jar. I'm going to Red Dragon Global to pay 2 for a Bifrost. Takes me down to 18. Down to 18, correct. And then I'm going to, those are four. I still need to get Black Widow. Hmm. Can I do this? Stuck with that shield I'm going to have. That's okay, though. I'm going to pay two for the Black Widow. I think I'm okay with all of this. And then I'm going to pass priority. All right, we're going to use one mask to PXG once. Another mask to PXG twice. We're going to use our third mask for the clay face global to bring our morphing jar in on its double mask side. And then bring the other. Yep, we can bring all four back over to PXG twice. There you go. You have your chance to do it. And then pass turn. Yeah, or oh, pass, turn. pass to you. It's over to you. All right, so my We're both turn. set up for turn three to do it. Just can you do it now? <laughs> now I'm down to 17 because I want to take a uh, point of back burn. That's the way I'm going to kill you. <laughs> We need that like intro, that welcome to death race. All right, so this is where I usually have an issue. <laughs> yeah, that's right, because this team, none of these have parallax. I think we have parallax on a couple teams, but not this one. This is the big roll for you, or you reset to next turn with a ton of mask and just do it all again. Oh, at least we hope anyway. So you have to roll. Uh, I don't know if you need morphine. Yeah, you need morphine and beholder to roll here. I at least need the beholder. Yeah. There we go. And we get the beholder. Get it. No, Ken. Yeah, I think you might be able to do it. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Ooh. We're going to field the sidekick, and then we're going to field the beholder. We're going to, when we field the beholder, we can use two globals for free. Correct. So we're going to use the Cree Captain global, and we're going to use the Ring of Winter global to reduce the cost of the Red Eyes Black Dragon to one bolt. <laughs> so we're going to spin one bolt and throw that into used. So then we're going to take our remaining energy, which is one, 
two because we need a bolt. Yeah. Three, four, five, and then six with the morphing jar. We're to spend all that to purchase our second red eyes black there dragon. You go. Okay, we've got our two energy left over and our Ring of Winter. So at this point, we're going to play our Ring of Winter and bring both Red Eyes Black Dragons in at level three, which are both seven sevens. Yep. And then you pass priority. Time, you're going to pass priority to you. I don't think it, I don't think it matters, but I'm going to do four uh, picks gene. Then I'm going to clay face in the morphine jar, which allows me to prep over those three. Pass my priority back. All right, then we're going to move to our attack phase. So we're going to attack with everything, yeah. which is going to KO the sidekick to give our black dragons a plus two, plus two, to make them both nine nines. So that's going to be 18 plus the five from the beholder. And that's that's our turn. Lethal. Kill. Well, we got to put up a nasty sign. <laughs> there you go. So that's game one. Um, Wow, that's crazy. So it was like first time we did it. There you, we did turn three kill. So, um, so game one to you. You get a skull up on your screen. And we reset. Well played. I think I would have had a chance for it, but we'll see if I can do that again next game. Well, it's all about going first, too, and seeing how I can get those rolls. Definitely got lucky there. <laughs> set scores well you didn't get lucky you got you get the two mass i think a lot of our teams that you need the two mass to start to, yeah uh, to get everything to work so yeah so you got one one skull up on your side uh, i'm gonna get to go first this time so let me just reset the timer well played by the way oh thank you thank you very much it's always good when you start off and it's like the first game we had one turn or a three turn kill well we can actually show one off that's right we did it all right so <laughs> we put uh, one in use and i'm gonna go first Hoping I get some mass this time, which, uh oh, not a good start. No oh, mass. dude. Let's try this and get it this time. Uh oh. <laughs> I've got one. So it's not the greatest, but we'll see. So I'm going to pay two. We're going to get a. Oh, jeez. I can't do much there. Black Widow. And I'm going to hold on to the mass, passing prior to two. All right, rolling four. Oh. See, this is where it all just goes to hell now. <laughs> this crumbles before your eyes. Oh, you got it. You got your billy club, right? Yeah, so we can go ahead and flip this to a mask, right? So, I guess this is the tricky part. Well, you, you could buy a, you buy the ring? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So we get our ring going. Right? Oop. Then we buy our morphing jar. Yeah, you're set. And then use that with the clay face global to move that over. Priority yeah. then. Yeah, pass priority. I prep two dice, PX gene, and I draw four dice. So I'm drawing six instead of eight. So I'm a little behind, but I think this team can still do it if I can roll mass, which I just did. So that's good. But now I need to get a bolt out of here. I need a bolt and a shield. Can I do this right? Uh, bolt and shield. Okay. Let's hope for it. I know I could have made a, sh a shield with the Bifrost, but I'm going to naturally roll a bolt and a shield here, which I just did. Look at that. Nice. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to start pay one by a morphine jar. I'm going to clay face in morphine jar. There's my three masks again. I'm going to use a bolt from the Red Dragon Global. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay two for a Bifrost. And then you're down to 19. Mm -hmm. And pass priority two. And we're going to PXG twice to move our four sidekicks over to the prep area. And your turn. And, back. and in turn. And four, eight. So yes, I was a little behind, but I think I caught up now. I got my stuff back. I think that looks pretty good. You can actually re-roll these. Three right here. Excellent. You get lots of mass. Wow. 
And oh, this doesn't happen all the time. I'm going to get spoiled. <laughs> you need a psychic too. He helps. And you bought your ring already last turn. So that helped mm. you. Yeah, I think when mm. we did a lot of our testing, what we do, turn one, we were three rolls. We forget that we have four dice and some wasted energy. So I think we can go ahead and field him. I'm going to use the two fists for the Cree Captain Global, two for three, and a mask to get our beholder. A <laughs> discounted beholder. Now we've got our pieces set here. Yeah, because you don't have... I mean, you could clay face in that Orphan Jar again, but you have enough energy to... To just it. go ahead and Yeah, do the it next more. turn. Because if you did it on this turn, then in theory you have five, plus you can clay face again on the other turn. Still going to take one bag burn, probably. So you're going to pass priority? Um, yeah, let's go. Yeah, go ahead I and pass priority. Good. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to PXG twice to bring that over. Then I'm going to clay face back in the morphine jar. So using clay face. And then spending that to prep the other four with PXG. Passing back priority to you. And then turn to you. And turn. Let me see if I can find my bag burn token. There we go. <laughs> one bag burn, because I only have three dice. So one bag burn. And now can I roll all my stuff to win? What I Here need, I need I think I need the Black Widow and the Bifrost to roll. I don't think it need the I don't think I need the Morphine Jar. He would help. And it's gonna come down to this, doesn't it? Alright, oh. so I do have sidekick, 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 but I think I need those for the beholder. Um so there's two fists. There's two fists, and then beholder would cost me four. So actually two fists, beholder comes down to four. That's the seven. Uh, and then I would have to pay one to field that. Two sidekicks. I think that would be enough if I have it. But I need to roll this. That's what I need. So I'm going to re-roll the Bifrost and really hope for it. So let's go for it. Shake it up. No Bifrost. Oh, no. All right. So that hurt. Um... So there's no point of having a beholder now, because he hurt me. Uh, and that's the way it goes sometimes, no parallax. Okay, so we're going to field, I'm not going to field that. You're going to win next turn if you roll everything. Although I do have characters in the field that could stop you. So let's try this. Keep that, keep that. Uh, I don't have a lot of masks. Okay, one. Could spin that down. I don't want to field that. All right, so I got to pay full seven, so that's five, six. I could spin that down. So one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I don't even want it this turn. Um. Nope. We're gonna go the old school way to ramp. Hmm. Still two sidekicks. Get them for next turn. I'm gonna pay one. To feel my Black Widow, level 3. I won't pay the shield, I'll pay the energy. Um, I'm going to pay 2 for another Black Widow. I'm going to Red Dragon Global to pay 2 for another Bifrost, which I will have to find another Bifrost die. I don't actually have it here on me. Here it is right there, so I'll buy that. Um, pass priority 2. Alright, move. Two over. These two over. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to buy another More. morphine jar. Yeah, well, and then clay face it in. So I have that. And then pass turn. Which then this guy goes to the used. Alright, we PXG'd all of our sidekicks over, so we have nothing in the bag. So this is the four we're going to draw, plus the six. Can you get your roll? I have you down to 18 for life here. Mm -hmm. So can you do it again, your roll? It's now the opposite. Last game it was, you had the behold, you had to roll, now you have to roll ring. Right. <laughs> and you have your two fists. You got everything you need. But can you do enough damage, though? Because I have stuff in the field. 
You would actually KO my sidekicks. I totally forgot about that. Let's re-roll these two. Yeah. Oh, you get it. Well, you're That's... still going to blockers. Yeah, but I think you... Yeah, I don't know if you'll get enough. There's three. Field morphing jar for free. Field the Beholder. These are two globals. Cree Captain, Ring of Winter. You should have enough, because I had sidekicks in the field. Well, here's the thing. I don't have enough to buy the, the second. Oh, that's right, because you if you could spin down one, do you have enough? No, you don't. You don't have enough energy, yeah. <laughs> Because you can't use the Cree Captain, because you use it to get the first one. Mm -hmm. And you can't use my Cree Captain Global, is how we're playing the game, right? That's right. See, even if I spun one down to a mask, hypothetically, and bought a Morphing Jar, paid for another one, I'm still stuck at five. If you spin one down to mass, you can ramp though. Well, your morphing jar is in the field. Oh yeah, I said I have to buy another one. Yeah. You might as well because you're gonna take Bagrin if not. That's true. Yeah, you wouldn't have enough because you would you could KO all the sidekicks if you attack with that black dragon. So they would get a plus ten. Yeah, he would get plus ten. So you would swing with seventeen with that dragon. I still think you can still kill though, because if you field him. I would. Oh no! I would just block that one dragon. That's right. Yeah, that's all you'd yeah, have. If you to had do. two dragons, they would definitely have enough. Most I'm hitting you for is six. Yeah, your beholder, and your morphinger, because your sidekicks will get knocked oh. out. But I mean, I think that's the best scenario we're looking at anyway. Yeah, because if you hold turn, what's your total fielding cost? You have none. You have zero. So yeah, so zero. in prison, we'll clear your field, and I should win on my turn. So. If yeah, so we're just going to have to play it out that way. Yep. So, I mean, uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and roll this down to a mask, right? Mm -hmm. So I've got these two sidekicks. Nothing in my bag. All right, well, let's bring up Winter. Get this guy in here at level three. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if your I'm... morphine jar didn't roll, you'd have enough energy for the other one. I'm thinking about buying a Creed Captain. See, and I guess uh, for people watching, if we both have Creed Captains, but again, you couldn't use my Creed Captain. And if it was a normal right. game, you would have used the Creed Captain the other team. Oh, no, totally. Yeah. Yeah, it, would, it wouldn't have been even an issue. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but that's what the whole thing about this tournament is. Yeah. They kind of round it, you know. Yeah, but I'm just wondering when you made you, your mistake was. I think that one turn you didn't have enough energy or something. No, I was. missed. Yeah, I needed one more energy on there. Yeah. The second sidekick kind of. Yeah, two sidekicks would have been fine. The third one just kind of was too many. Mm -hmm. If I would have just had that one more energy instead of a sidekick, I'd have been fine. I'd have had it. Well, at least had enough energy, or enough to do a lot of damage. So I guess what do you buy the? Do you buy a Morphe, no, Morphine Jar, or do you buy a Cree Captain? I think... Because you get a Morphine Jar and then clay face it in, at least then you could ramp all your dice next turn. I have these two that I can't do anything with. See, I can't even move them. No, but if you bought a Morphine Jar, and then you clay face it in, and then you pay two for the Cree Captain... Or is your Cree Captain a three? He's a two, so yeah, I can buy the, the Cree Captain. Right. And then, and then buy a Morphing Jar. Buy the Morphing Jar. Clay right? face it in. And then at least you have your three, you spend the two, then you clay face on your turn to ramp everything. And you have a yeah, chance if but... I don't roll. But I have two Bifrost, hopefully, will roll for me. Because at this point, I'll go ahead and pass priority. That's right. right? So I would spend one mask to. Uh, PXG once, 
and then I do that to clay face in my other morphine jar and then use those two masks to prep the four side kick dice. Passing back, new intern. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so then I have five going in. I'm at least going to pull one of the Bifrost. This is the first time I think we're using Dice Bag this whole game. <laughs> I pull two Bifrost, a Morphine Jar, and a Black Widow. So hopefully my Bifrost are more friendlier this turn. And they are. So there's one Bifrost. I'm pretty sure. Oh, you're, this... how big's your Black Dragon? Yeah, he's a three. He's a three. Hmm. How do I get him out of the field? I think I have ways to get him out. Not way to get him out, but I'll have enough to swing with enough, I think. Um, so there's yeah, one. it won't matter because you'll be a little bit more overwhelming. Yeah, so there's so Bifrost is there one two, and I only need to do eighteen damage. So there's the two for Cree Captain. The Beholder's going to cost me. Actually, I need to roll this Black Widow. I would like. Um, actually, I'm going to straight up buy him for seven. One two three four five six seven is right there. So if my Black Widow rolls, it's even better. I'm going to roll Black Widow. She rolls. Right, she yes, yeah, so that should definitely be it. So I'm going to pay the full seven to buy a Beholder. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use Bifrost. So now these characters, my Morphine Jar is level two, Black Widow's a level two, and the Psychic's a one. So I'll field the Morphine Jar first, which then allows me to bring in my Beholder on level two. Five, four. Level two, level two, and then I'll field the sidekick, and then I'll field my Black Widow. So all mm -hmm. these get plus one right. when they attack. Pass priority two. Um, I think on. numbers. I think I have numbers here. PXG these two over. I'm gonna clay face this to its one mask to PXG the other two over. Right. And then pass back. Right. So then if I do a full swing with everything. Um, when I attack with the Beholder. Yeah, uh, so these, it's the first one that I'm assigning to attack. All of your stuff gets captured for the turn. So you have one uh, dragon. And you would block whatever, but these all get a plus three with the front line. Because I have front line that allows any unblock block, it's plus three. 15. So these are yeah. all plus five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, way more than enough. That's, that's game. And that would be <laughs> enough. Yes, so that's why I said. I think this team has a little bit of control it can do um, past turn three, so which is good for the Beholder. So that's Actually, that's good. We've got both one on the games. I think that was turn four, I think I did that. So, I think so yeah. For people watching, they can tell us. So, yes, let's reset. So, this is the first time we're going to game three. Sudden death. Sudden death and death race. So, the rules we had for this was uh, we're both going to roll, or rolling three dice on turn one. And then if there's lethal, like if you do lethal on your first uh, turn three, I mm -hmm. get to finish my turn three, and it's the most damage will be the winner, is what we agreed on. And we can use globals, so you, now you can double pre captain, because we can use globals from the opponent team. So I guess you need to know what I have. So I have pre captain, uh, red dragon, so you can buy your ring with mm -hmm. a bolt, uh, black widow, so for force attacking, clay face, professor X an energy fixer in Bifrost, and the Beholder, which I don't think we really use. And you have, what, uh, Resurrection, Cake? Beholder, Creek Captain, uh, Billy Club, and Ring of Winter. Lots of good stuff. All right, I'm going to set the timer. All right. You get first, because you rolled the pressure. Over to you. Right. Good luck. Good luck to you, too. I don't Here think we've we actually done a test for the... Uh, the sudden death the, rules. So this no, we haven't. Test. So this would be cool. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Oh, All right. There's there's the good start. There we go. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use the cake global. What's we'll, going to be gross we'll is that we, we have double clay bit. facing we can do too. So it's going to be just absolutely. I think we need two masks <laughs> to, to bring everything over. It's just ridiculous. All right. <laughs> so I roll only three as well on my turn. Uh, let's see if I can roll just like that. And oh, yes, I can. You know why? You have Billy Club. That's so right. I'm going to spin it down using Billy Club. And then I'm actually going to use your cake. Um, actually, not cake. Yeah, I'm going to use this to cake, which the way we're going to sneak this is I draw one sidekick from my bag, and then I'm going to put it back in my bag. So that allows me to spend that. I'm going to buy a morphine jar. 
and then I'm going to clay face in my morphine jar. Pass priority two. Do your stuff. We're going to move these over. Pass back. And turn. And I'll do the same thing on yours. Roll an eight dice. Exactly what we need. Isn't that good when you roll like a crap load of mass? <laughs> and you, you have more than enough mass with double clay facing, double Cree captaining. There's going to be some big damage going. Well, let's Cree captain global on a mass to get ourselves a beholder. Two for the Ring of Winter. See, it'd also be interesting too if you do like so much damage. Would you ever keep any of your characters back? Because then on my turn, I, I would have an open field to swing at. Right. Okay, uh -huh. so you pass priority. Yeah, pass priority to you. I roll four. It. And I draw four. Here we go. Let's get some mass, which I don't really need that many. So there's a mass. That's a mask. There's the bolt. These are four. Bifrost. Those are four. What's your name? I have the next energy. Okay, so I ping you for one, ping two for a Bifrost. Mm -hmm. We got a 19. Um, then I'm going to pay two for a Black Widow. And then I'm going to clay face. I'm going to Billy Club this down to a mask using your uh, Billy Club. And then I'm going to clay face in my morphine jar. And then I'm actually going to resurrect, which puts these in the bag. And I draw one, which leaves me two dice in my bag. Pass priority. All right, we're going to move two, four, clay face the morphine jar to do it two more times. And pass back. Uh, I pass the turn. Nope. Oh. All right, so we're only pulling three out of the bag. We're going to take a point of burn that takes us to 18. That's right. So we're turn three, so this is where we got to do our lethals. Who does more damage wins. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change the score on this to have it like at zero to see how much damage we do. Well, I'll just put a minus in front of it. It's okay. How much minus death do you get? All right, let's see if the ring of winter will roll. There it is. And you got everything uh, you need. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use our generic energy to field morphing jar, field a sidekick, field the beholder. We're going to use the Cree Captain Global and the Ring of Winter Global to buy the Red Eyes Black Dragon for one bolt. And we're going to use the remainder of our energy. Well, you to can use buy. my Cree Captain as well. Oh. I'm just saying. <laughs> I guess we could, right? So. I'm wondering, can you get three? Would be interesting. Well. No, I don't think you can. I have two. I guess that would be right. If I had a Beholder, you'd be able to. Like a, a four cost Beholder, you would have been able to. Oh, no, but there's no Ring of Winter. So two for three. Four, five, six we need for the bolt. Yeah. For the second one. But still, you got two <laughs> red eyes coming. Ring of Winter. So we'll get both of those two guys here at level three. Both seven sevens. And pass priority. Okay, so my turn. I'm going to PXG once. Oh, sorry. Not that. I'm going to use this morphine jar to PXG twice with the morphine jar. Then I clay face in my morphine jar, which allows me to PXG those over. Pass back. And then, yeah, we'll move to combat. Yep. So we'll swing I have an open field to swing at, so how much is that? I'll just We're move them down just a little there. Let's see. Give these guys a plus two, plus two to make them so that would be nine nines. So, so that's nine eight. nines. Uh, plus four, so 22, 27. So you did 27 damage. So. I, I'm obviously my score is at 20, so I'm going to put myself at minus 
seven is where I'll be. Oh, it doesn't go minus seven. We'll just say you did 27 damage is what the scoreboard says. So I'm at my damage right now. I'm at, I've done two to you, correct? You're at 18. That's on the correct. scoreboard, I've got the scoreboard for people showing. It's it's actually, we have it down to zero. You've done two damage to you so far. I have to get 25 damage here. Good luck, man. Rolls. Yeah, good luck, right? So I have two dice. Um, I roll one, and I actually give you one more to put you to 28. You're going to have. You take one bag burn. So now I need to get 26 damage to you. That's okay. That's, That's good. Possible. It's possible. It's That's definitely right. possible. So your characters are in the uh, use pile, right? That's correct. Yeah. So. See, that's what I'm wondering if it would have been good to keep a, a morphine jar or something that you could have blocked with. Might have been interesting. But so far, I have rolled nothing, and that's not a good sign for me. So all this is fine. That's all good. I would maybe... The psychic's fine. Everything's good. I just need to roll every one of those characters. So the odds that I roll all three... This could be tough. Let's see what we got. Oh. And no. Oh my god. <laughs> I rolled all three. <laughs> okay, so can I do this combo? Uh which is ridiculous when it gets big. So I'm gonna first um use the bifrost. And now I have to pay one two fists for Cree Captain. So I would make Beholder only cost four. You can use my Ring of Winter, global two. Oh, I could use your Ring of Winter, too. So if I use Ring of Winter, it comes down to... So that's three. It goes down to four. Ring of Winter brings it down to... One, is it? Three, four. Yeah. No. Ring. Of, I use Cree Captain for two. Brings it down to four. Ring of Winter brings it down to two more. Goes so to two. Two. I think it's the same, actually, because I'd have to pay a bolt. It goes down by one. And then I have to pay two anyway. So I could just Cree Captain. That's right. He'll cost four. So I'm paying five total energy. Correct for a beholder. Mm -hmm. And then the only problem with this is my Black Widow is the level three. So this beholder, if he's on level four, he's going to get four plus buff. He'll get to five plus three. He's eight. I'm doing eight damage. Twelve. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. I don't know if I get to twenty-six here. This will be interesting. Um, and if I field this one first, I don't get the buffs. He goes up by two. Yeah, I'm going to go this way. Okay, so my morphine jar is level one. So I'm going to field first. I activated Bifrost, so I put in my... Oh, shoot, you know what I did? Did I do that right when I bought? You know what I should have done? Sorry, can I take that back, what I did? This Bifrost was bought with the five, remember? Mm -hmm. And it was Ring of Winter for one, Cree Captain for two, and I needed a mask. So I'm using the mask instead of that question mark. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. So the mask uh, is to buy that for five. So there's the five I bought the Beholder with. So that goes there. Um, I could actually say, take this and pay with the generic, but I think I got it now. So I'm going to pay Field the Sidekick which allows me to bring out the Beholder on level 1. I'm going to pay 2 for another Black Widow. And when I field this Morphine Jar, this Black Widow comes out on level 1. Sorry, level 1 is 2-1. It matters. And then I pay 1 energy to feel this black wood on level three. So these guys are all plus one from this one, and mm. they get plus two from this one. This is a plus one. So these are plus one, twos, these are plus one, and these are plus zero. Correct? Right. I think I have the numbers. All right, so then when I go to the attack step, I attack with everything. My beholder is the first thing to attack. So I get to use imprison, which again, you had nothing anyways. So this guy was a plus two buff, so he gets plus two plus three for the front line. So he's plus a five. Uh, he's a one, plus one, plus ten, he's three. Plus, yeah, that's right, he's a six. Um, he gets a buff of one, two. So he's a six, plus three, he's a, geez, I'm gonna do math on this. Yeah, he's a nine, so that's 15. 
He's a 2 plus 2, so he's a 4 plus 3 is 7. That's 16. Correct? Mm -hmm. No. 9. Oh, I did math. I'm horrible at math. This, here, you need to calculate it. <laughs> Let's reset it. And those watching will be like, wow. So he's a 6, right? He did. Right. So he did 6. This one did 4 plus 2 plus 3, so he's 9. Mm hmm. One, so 15. 2, 3, 4. And he's 2 plus 2 plus 3, so he's 7. Mm -hmm. It's 22. Two. This one is 2 plus 1 plus 3 is 6. Mm -hmm. 28. And then he's plus 3. 1, yep. 2, 3. So that's, yeah, they did 31. There 31 plus the 2 makes, yeah, 33. So they actually do more damage. That was actually close. I'm wondering now if you kept a morphine jar back. It would have just got captured anyways. Yeah, it that's wouldn't right. Have yeah, you know what? You couldn't keep anything back, so it, it wouldn't have mattered. No, I, uh, I, I swing for the most I could because I mean I had uh, morphing jar at level three. Um, the only thing better I think I could have uh, if I would have had uh, beholder at level three. Correct, but I, I think you yeah, swung I, for the lethal, and by me able to get that black widow, the last one gave a plus one buff for five cards. That would have put me at twenty eight, which would have been a tie. Actually, it would have been more you would have won because I would have done damage with this other Black Widow. So it would have only been like 26 damage, I think. Yeah. But, so even if I had another sidekick with this, I could have gave the, the Black uh, the Red Eyes another buff. Right. I mean, I think turning point in that game was when I needed to roll all three of those on that second roll, yeah. and they actually yeah, came up. <laughs> it was a great roll. I was roll. like, wow, that worked. So obviously <laughs> both these teams, they rolled pretty good. Um, we actually surprisingly rolled a lot of mass. It came out really good. And yeah, it came down to the first tiebreaker, which it might be interesting how we play it like that, but that's what we chose the rules. So it's whoever does the most damage. And I think the reason we really did that is because Yanti's in this. And I think when she does her witch magic, she, I think, gets like 22. And we're like, mm -hmm. if we go to game three against Yanti, we want to beat her because we don't yeah. want her to win. So, but doing 33 damage and 28 damage on turn three was pretty damn good. <laughs> so, everyone, good. yeah so that was our that was actually what this is the first match we are going to have this uh um because we did some turn three killing so th yeah this was our first match we did uh we actually pulled it off hope everyone enjoyed it mike thanks for uh for playing this tournament with me and we got lots of games still to go no no thanks for having me i'm looking forward to the rest of the bracket yeah we have no idea who's going to win this but uh <laughs> yeah first match shows uh, hopefully we'll have some interesting ones going forward so everyone, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll have another video up for you soon. And uh, yeah, thanks again, Mike. Yep, anytime. <laughs>